Well, Keith, you can, uh, you can look now and admire the cup, but I would imagine the old ticker was going a bit in the second half. Yes, it? that 45 minutes seemed a hell of a long time, and uh, in the last 10 minutes, uh, I was continuously looking at the watch uh, because I could see that they were always in with a chance of doing something. And uh, the one that hit the bar, um, I nearly died. But the feeling in the dressing room must be that you were, by more than somewhat, unlucky. Yes, we felt uh, we, we'd done enough to at least get a draw, yeah. But um, there you go. I was proud of our boys. They were fantastic young lads. They'd probably be here again because they've, um, they've got a lot of art. Well, now you've had a little longer to reflect, Laurie, an opinion on that game. Very good cup final, a good cup tie, which I think uh, is everyone's opinion that I've spoken to. Um, very sorry that Terry Venables didn't get something out of it. I mean, even a replay, I don't think Keith could have complained about Keith Birkenshaw. Uh, as Aston Villa had a bit of luck to win their cup, Tottenham, I think, would admit they carried a bit of luck tonight. Uh, the woodwork was hit, and uh, the second half showed, I think, why Terry Venables is, is classed as a coach. He uh, adopted a, a formation tonight which meant four men across the middle of the field, which stretched the Tottenham defence, and the passes were diagonal from wide positions across the face of the, the back four players, and they weren't comfortable. And the keeper was often caught in a position where he didn't know whether to come or stay on his lane. And uh, this was good tactics, and they put a tremendous amount of pressure on And considering that they had two key men missing from last Saturday, um, full marks to them for providing tremendous entertainment. In a word, why couldn't Spurs beat Rangers more easily as everybody expected? Well, because Rangers are a good team. And I think this is surprising to a lot of people because they're not in the first division at the minute and you don't see so much of them. It's disproved the, the thing about the artificial pitch. Uh, there's nothing artificial about that field <laughs> out there. And they did it exceptionally well. And they've won a lot of new fans. And they're a young team and they'll, they'll come again. They'll win something if they keep playing like that. But you can't take it away from Tottenham. Two years running in the FA Cup. Uh, well done to them. And gave everybody entertainment and that's what we need. And you can say that again. And you'll get entertainment on Saturday on Grandstand on BBC when you can see the whole of the Scotland-England match from Hampden Park live on Saturday afternoon. The programme begins at 12.15. Entertainment coming up then, and I think you'll agree, entertainment tonight. So let's finish really with congratulating Spurs on a magnificent performance, but at the same time sparing a thought for the bad luck experienced by Queen's Park Rangers. Gregory is closing in, Flanagan's there as well. That's awkward, it's at the bar, John Gregory. <laughs>